dope. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man. They say Shakir Stevenson wants the winner of Durante Davis and Vasyl Lomachenko. I mean, Shakir had to be sitting over there scratching his head. Devin Haney came over and got Lomachenko fight. T.O. got the Lomachenko fight. Even Durante was able, on a different block, was able to come over and get the Lomachenko fight. Okay? And he got to be sitting there looking like, damn. You know? And... Possibly Bob will dangle carrot in care in his face and say, Well, I can make the fight versus the winner. You see, I can do stuff with PBC or with Lomachenko could uh win. We can make the fight with Lomachenko. That's what he's gonna be that's what he's gonna be trying to sell him. You know, that's exactly what he's gonna be trying to sell him. So, you know, at the end of the day, uh um, you know, hopefully he do his best for him. I know most people think, like me, I assume he's going to go over there with Bud and Turkey out of the sheep. I could be wrong. I could be wrong against Lizzo in the thumb. <laughs> but who knows? Who truly knows? So, um, But nonetheless, uh, you know, he can say what he want all he want to, but sometimes you got to be realistic about it. If guys don't want to fight you, they can't fight you. I like what Dimitri Bivol told David Benavidez. Stop worrying about Canelo. Move up and make your own legacy. One monkey don't stop the show. Trust and believe me. You know, when one of your coworkers don't show up to work, they got a plan to make it to uh to make that shit work. Trust and believe me, they got a plan. It's no different in this situation. They got a plan. It don't matter. They got a plan. So, just keep winning. And I think the best thing he can do is keep winning and not putting on snoozers. But also, market himself off the floor. That's the best thing he could do. Market himself off the floor. So, if you can market yourself off the, off, I mean, off the court, I mean, <laughs> outside the ring, that's the best thing he could do. That's going to give you the most interest. What made De La Hoya and Floyd such a massive fight in my Eddie Hunters? And what made, what made it such a big fight was what Floyd did on 24-7. See, when Shakur talks shit, it's just to the point where I'm getting over to Keisha. <laughs> These Keisha's bad. <laughs> they can't drive, bro. But like I said before, you know, at the end of the day, what made him such such a big? What made that fight so 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 big, Paul? Was the simple fact that uh, was the fact that Mayweather talked a lot of shit. It became like a goddamn reality TV series, like real talk. It kind of was, but you kind of catch my scent. Had the drama in it. People say I got to tune in what this nigga gonna say next. Or oh, I got to tune in and see what he gonna say next episode. Next up, then I gotta tune in for the fight. $50, $60 here. That's worth the price of admission. Let's get it. But when Shakira Stevenson talks shit, it's just like he's just too fucking serious, dog. Isn't he? He's not charismatic, he's not charismatic with it. You know, it's too stern. He don't got no sauce with it. I hate I get behind people who can't drive. Like, bro, you can bust a right. He wasted my time, not knowing how to drive. Keisha can't drive. Brad can't drive. <laughs> but yeah, he just be too serious with it and shit. Like he don't have no, he don't really have no like no care. Like he ain't, like I said, he ain't charismatic, bro. No charisma at all. It's just straight. Fuck that nigga. That's just what it is. It's, it's <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like he, you know they. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, and our niggas out that way, they funny. You see a lot of funny niggas out in Jersey, New York City. They funny. Like, he ain't got no funny in that nigga. He, like, he all business. He all business. You know? Now, if he fought like he taught, I think he have a lot of fans. You know? But he a safety first fighter. He's always going to be in position to defend. 
He's never gonna, you're never gonna catch him out of position not to defend himself. He's gonna compromise offense for defense, and that's just who he is, and that's fine. But then you gotta do other things like Mayweather did to get people to the ring. Every time you gotta reinvent yourself, every time you gotta put him to the ring, but in reality, he not getting the winner of that fight, not, not directly after the tank and, and Lomachenko. How often you see these top fighters take two tough fights in a row? Not often. You don't see these guys take a bunch of tough fights back to back, back to back. Shit. Let's call it what it is. They ain't taking a bunch of tough fights back to back. So, I mean, it is what it is. So he gonna have to wait. No, I said, I, I was just taking my attention off of it. And I think, and I always say this, man, use this analogy. You always go, you, every time you, you don't look for something, you find it. Every time you go looking for it, you don't find it. Go look for that your Roku remote. Find twenty, fifty, hundred dollars in the couch. Won't find the Roku remote. Go look for that hundred, twenty, fifty. You find the Roku remote. So sometimes it's best that you know you just forge your own path. You do your own thing. You know you got a manager, you got a promoter, or you're gonna have a new promoter, and they lay out a path for you to be most successful. And I think part of that path that fighters forget about is off the is off the floor. Part of that path is people forget about is off the floor or outside the uh, arena. arena. So, you know, and Shakira Stevenson did a good job of grabbing a lot of the brothers' uh, interviews. And now it's time to, you know, time to cross over commercially. You know, it's time to cross over commercially. So, but um, but him, him, I mean, he do he too dangerous right now. Let's call it what it is. He too much of a danger. You know, you get a guy in there that's good with angles, understand boxing, understand distance. A southpaw. Somebody sign up to fight that shit. And if the fans ain't demanding it, and the fans are fickle. But the minute you become the man and you start doing what they was doing, you start picking and choosing they choosing they uh choosing choosing they choosing your fights, then they got a problem with it. You know, and they got a problem with it. So a lot of times it ain't nothing you can do. You just gotta pick your own path, but I mean, Lomachenko win that fight, he probably retires. Or maybe he loved the money. You know? Maybe he loved the money. Tank win that fight, you know. He said he gonna fight secure, but I don't see it happening next. He probably go up and fight Pitbull. You know, he probably gonna take another, you know, probably take a soft touch and then probably come back with a good fight. You know, but these TV networks need to start demanding that these guys put the work in and get them great fights every time out. If you're gonna fight once or twice a year, you know. So that's what I feel like, but that's just my opinion on it. But I don't see them fighting him. But I guess you gotta, you gotta speak it, believe it, become it. You know. I guess you gotta, you gotta tell people that you want to fight. If I was him, I just worry about what's on the plate, and I worry about guys who want to fight. You know. I'm not gonna be here begging another nigga for some shit, bro. You know, I apply pressure in different ways. And today you can say you can make you can make it and God can come out and say, I don't wanna fight him. I'm ducking him. And the fans will be okay with that. So we're not talking to old, old head fans. We're not talking to fans that uh you know that stand for something. These these people don't these niggas today don't stand for nothing. These people today. They stand for absolutely nothing. They don't stand for nothing. They don't stand on morality. They don't stand for, they don't believe in not beating up old people for bags. And they don't believe in shit. Chivalry. The women don't want to be treated right. They want to be dogged out. They don't care about shit. Unfortunately, they don't care. I don't care. I don't care. They don't care about nothing. So what's right was right, what's wrong is what's wrong. Ain't too much shit you could ain't too much shit you could do about it. Just come up with a plan. Fight who you can who fight who you can. You know what I'm saying? Fight who you can. Be the man that way. And hopefully that fight come across your table. Sometimes you can want something so bad. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can want something so bad that, you know, you're over anxious. Over anxious, so um, but that's 
to he ain't getting that he ain't getting that winner run out right after they fight. I can tell you that. He ain't getting that winner right after they fight. I can promise you that. So he can sit here and, and hope and pray and wish upon the stars shit like Rolls Royce. But he ain't getting that winner. Not directly after. So if they ain't sign they ain't rendezvous and sign to fight you before the fight, that ain't happening, Playboy. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. So it is what it is. He can say what he wants and all that and it sound good, but it ain't about what you want. It's about at this point in boxing, that's what you get. So, you know, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video financially on support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description, hit the link tree, find me on X, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Check me out on Rumble, all one word, Goodfellow TV, appreciate that. That ain't in the link tree yet. I got to get a custom URL, so give me enough followers to get so. Check me out on Facebook, dog. On Facebook, that link's in the link tree. Check out the Patreon, too.